Hey guys, I hope you can hear this. The wind is really blowing like crazy here. But I wanted to show you. Uh, looks like the uh, kids and lambs have really took a liking to these turnips and radishes. Remember when I showed you they were just sort of starting to test them out, try them out. And now look at this same place I'm standing where they were really thick and tall and big leaves on them and uh, so now look look kind of what they've done to them and they've they've even eaten well here's like a, a radish there they've they eat part of it the radish itself looks like they pulled out some of the turnips you know they've been eating on the turnip bulbs we opened up a spot that was uh, where we had them on the sedan mixture and we took them off because of the frost and we opened that back up for them but they and they had come through here to go back um, to their water in, in here and into the loafing shed at night but they hang out here a lot they seem to uh, they'll just come back over here once in a while and just start picking away at this, this stuff. Um, I'm kind of surprised they ate them that well. Uh, you remember the first time I showed you, I wasn't too sure how they were going to treat them. Yeah, some of these turnips my goodness they're bigger than a softball that radish they ate on that some of these radishes you, you can't see them anymore like that one there they pulled it out or or ate it down into the ground here's something laying on top of the ground they broke off or pulled them out or something there. Isn't that interesting? Wow. You haven't seen them in a few days here. They really come along good after they started on to those turps and radishes and the oats is out in there um, we got free choice hay out for them they don't spend a lot of time that's the same bale we've had out for a few weeks uh, and this isn't all of them some of them are still over there they eating on uh, the other side of the fence there where we turned them into So the turnip and radish, what I was reading on that is anywhere it can be from 16% protein up to, I don't know, over 25, I guess, just depending on what's in your soil, I suppose, and how much nitrogen they pick up. And then the tubular, the, the actual turnip or radish is around 10% protein, maybe more, depending again on how much excess nitrogen. We didn't fertilize them, but if they're just picking up some nitrogen there. So it's pretty rich feed, and that's why you, you need to keep some dry matter out for them. And uh, the oats mixed in there would, was also kind of helped them, keeping them uh, from you know getting too loose. Um, I don't see any of them that are. So they're uh, they're eating away on them. That's for sure. So this is uh, where the sorghum sedan is at that we took them off of. You can see them over there. They're, 
they're eating into that now and then but they've also got this we give them a fresh strip of this uh well it's the same mixtures was over there but these turnips and rashes just haven't come on as good as that other bunch where we feed hay and and stuff there but uh if we get this rain it'll probably help this quite a little bit if something should come on but they still, they go into that sorghum sedan to get some dry matter. And we were hoping that they would kind of regulate their own diet. I can't say that they are or they aren't. They haven't eaten as much of these oats and radishes over here as I expect them to. We gave this a couple days ago. But they're doing fine, I guess that's the main thing. Yeah, about time to get back on the combine. We got a few hours and it's supposed to bring some rain. We we, we want the rain, but yeah, it's always nice to have we we got done combining. Uh, but I guess that's we want the rain, so that's how it is.